All right, his wife's car got an open tracker two from Argent Data. And a new V350 attached to that. And uh, it's on the ignition switch. So we turn on the ignition. And it starts up. And there's a cable here on the side that goes through a little changer that changes the Garmin proprietary format to NMEA. It goes down here and is, is attached to the uh, open tracker. I bought this on eBay for like 50 bucks. When it starts up, first time it start up hooked to an open tracker, that top panel will change to dispatch. And with dispatch, you can send and receive messages. Uh, you can control the um, open tracker. Tracker. So I'm going to send a message to the open tracker. I want to create a message, and I want to see what my path is. So if you're going to talk to the open tracker, you got to lead with two dashes, and then you put in your command. And I'm on, and then I'm going to send the message. The two leading dashes mean it's being addressed to the open tracker. And immediately the open tracker responds. And by the way, this is the same thing if somebody sends you a text me uh, APRS message, um, that little exclamation point will pop up and it'll chime like that. And, it'll and it says, My path is wide 1 1 which, by the way, is all you need in California. Um, I've got a uh, switch mounted on the open tracker here. And the open tracker, as well as the tiny tracker, a couple others will have two profiles you can set up. So I've got this set up as a profile switch, and it's normally in the up position. Um, which I have it set up to run wide 1-1. One, one. If I flip the switch, it's going to change the path. The profile's changed, and now it is, excuse me, it's a wide 1-1, one, one, wide 2-1, which is a two-hop path, which is more than you need in California, but uh, we go out of state sometimes, and out in uh, Winnemucca, Nevada, you need uh, two hops to get out. So I'm going to create another message, and this time... I'm going to do path again, delete, those two dashes mean you're talking to the open tracker, one dash if you want to do an APRS text message, I'll show you that next, and send, immediately comes back, and let's see if in fact it is wide 1-1 one, one, and 2-1, so that's what I consider my DX profile. I'm going to send a message to my friend. And to send a PRS message, you lead with one dash. That means you're addressing the APRS network. Okay, sending him a message, dude. Okay, so it just went off, and I could see the green light flash, so it was acknowledged. It transmitted once, and we could confirm that by going to the outbox. And sure enough, there's my message to K6MEU5, dude. If it was sending, it would say sending still, so we're going to go ahead and delete. Because if you don't delete um, your messages, there's... Oh, there's some weird stuff that can happen. This interface, you know, this is an older Nuvi, but it, by fluke, is the most uh, um, compatible with the uh, Open Tracker. And now we've done the dispatch. It's got all the other features 
like if you wanted to find a restaurant or an address or whatever and it's got a uh, voice so it can talk and tell you when to turn and steer you uh, off a cliff so we're going to go back to the map view the map view what makes this the most compatible you can see other users on the map so there's uh two users only one of them's the call sign showing up that are uh about 20 miles north of me i can see a digi to the west i can see a digi right off of my uh back bumper there and you can actually watch yourself as you get digied by a digipeter uh, your own call sign will show up right there underneath the vehicle and sure enough there's my wife's call sign right underneath the front wheels of the vehicle the open tracker is uh, real nice as, as well as the tiny tracker 4 they're both uh, uh, really good trackers um, you can watch it transmit, and if a digi receives you, the green light will come on. And uh, there's a, another little activity light that gives you a happy feeling that the uh, GPS unit is talking to the unit. Pretty all in all, it's a really nice package. Um, now I have this hooked to a 15-minute uh, timer, so when I shut off the vehicle... It's going to just keep on plugging along for about 15 minutes. It'll give it a chance to uh, actually you know, transmit about two or three times within that 15-minute uh, time period, and then it'll shut off so it doesn't uh, spam out the network at all. Okay, wife of the wife's trunk of her car. I've got an old uh, EF Johnson radio modified for APRS. I've got a uh, power coming off of the uh, mic plug, audio, everything comes out. That goes to a DB9 connector. Wife also has an Astro uh, P25 radio as well that's... Uh, mounted in an undercover fashion in a center console. So that's it.